Hello guys and welcome to a little vlog I've decided to do this morning. Um, one of the main reasons is I have some new things to show you which I'm going to unbox in a minute. First of all, the cat is coming in to interrupt the video. Bye now. Bye bye. Okay. As I was saying, there's some new things I'm going to unbox in a minute which is pretty cool. But also quickly wanted to mention why there haven't been any videos for a while. The main reason is I've been working on a production for the past three weeks which has been really intense doing lots of video projection stuff and it's been pretty much non-stop for three weeks there'll be a more in-depth video about that show showing you some of the stuff that i've been doing and that'll be coming later this week or early next week so stay tuned for that but yeah that's the reason i have many videos because i simply haven't had the time to do them however videos are now coming back and there's going to be some cool review videos coming up because i'm looking at some boxes to the left of me of things that have literally five minutes ago come through the door um, let's start off with the small box, shall we? Smallest box of all. This guy here. This is my DMX 2.0. I've been wanting to get my hands on my DMX for a little while now. I've had a play with it before. Um, and I'm going to be doing some tutorials on my DMX. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And also, I'm hopefully going to try and program like a full on light show to music using my DMX, if all goes to plan. Uh, let's open up the box. So inside the box, we have a piece of paper, some cardboard, some gel, and there is the little guy. This is my DMX 2.0. Basically converts USB into DMX to allow you to control your lights with your laptop. And you've got a three pin output and a five pin output on the back of this thing. What else is in the box? And we have a USB cable. That's about it. So that is my DMX 2.0. Video tutorials will come very soon. Now the next thing I have to show you also involves DMX. This has had a lot of interest around it in the past couple of weeks. I first saw it at ProLight and Sound and it looks really cool. It's a really simple DMX controller that allows you to take control of your lights without the need for complex programming, and it's the Wi-Fly Any1. Now, I need to find some scissors, there they are. So in the box, we have another piece of paper. This time we have a Kingston USB stick, which is to transfer your um, different fixture profiles from your computer onto the controller. Power supply. And then we have the controller itself. have it that is the Wi-Fi any one the way I describe this controller is it's simple yet advanced you can do some very clever things with it um, and control your lighting to a real uh, a real fine detail but it also is quite simple in the way it works so um, there'll be some cool videos coming on this guy very soon so yeah there's the Wi-Fi any one but the next thing I want to show you is a little bit bigger so next up to unbox we have this guy. This is the American DJ Inno Spot Pro. So this is a moving head. Uh, it's got lots of features in it like rotating gobos and prisms um, and it's quite big especially when you compare it to the only other moving heads I have which are the Pocket Series. Uh, so let's open this guy up. In the box we have a manual and of course I'll get this out. It's much bigger than I thought it would be. So in the box we've got an omega bracket for you to attach a clamp, power cable and voila. Yeah it's definitely bigger than a pocket spot. And heavier. So that is the InnoSpot Pro, and I happen to have um, I have two of these guys. This is kind of my first proper moving heads, I'd say. 
I mean, I've got the inner pocket spots and the inner pocket washes, but in terms of kind of a decent sized fixture, um, this is my first real moving head. And um, it's quite a good place to start, I think, because these guys are packed with features. They have, I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'm gonna read off the box. They've got eight different colors in them, six rotating replaceable gobos, separate gobo color wheel, uh, motorized focus, they've got a manual zoom, so they have an 80 watt LED source powering them, so they're going to run quite cool. And they also, from first impressions, feel incredibly well made. I mean, really, really robust, tough plastics. Right, I think it's about time we power these guys on. And the next question is, do they have a power switch? Ah, I know what the problem is. I've just tripped the power for the living room. <laughs> so basically, in the house I'm in at the moment, we've been having some power problems. And um, what I think has just happened is the main RCD that does all of the room mains in the house has just gone. So currently, well, we've got lights, but no, no room main power. Slightly annoying. I was going to show you what these guys could do very quickly, but um, I guess you'll have to wait for the review video. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do now because I was in the middle of working and now I have no power to anything. But anyway, um, yes, some videos on all this stuff coming very soon. Um, Innerspot Pros look pretty damn cool. I can't wait to see them on eventually when the power gets sorted. Hopefully, fingers crossed today. The Wi Fly Any One, I'll have some tutorials coming on this guy very soon. Really interested to see how this guy performs after having a little time playing with it at uh, ProLight and Sound. And then, of course, my DMX 2.0. Uh, have some tutorials coming on that. If you've got any questions about, you know, my DMX or the Wi Flight Any One that you want me to answer in the tutorial videos, please leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to uh, answer those on the tutorials that I've got coming up. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'm going to go sit in my room until the power comes back on. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.